Hi guys and welcome to our Sling TSI Low Wing Quick Build. When I was looking for quick build information on YouTube, I couldn't find very much. Um, there's only one or two people who seem to have a quick build going on and uh, I decided to document a lot of my progress, uh, one for my own sake and two for other people who are looking for more information. The biggest things I wanted to know is uh, what state um, the aircraft would arrive, how much was built and what wasn't built and what I had to do. There she is. First impressions. That she's really well packed. Oh, we're gonna have some fun. Oh, we're gonna have some fun. We are gonna have some fun. So, for those who don't know what a sling TSI is, it's a four-seater aircraft. Um, it does about 150 knots. Very economical, um, very easy to fly from from what I hear. I haven't flown one yet. That's soon to be uh, fixed though. You can buy these things fully built or you can build them 100%. You can get a kit where you put each and every skin together or you can get them as a quick build. I went with the quick build option. The quick build option means they're roughly 50% built. All the fuselage is together as you can see. The wings are together as you can see with the fuel tanks and all pressure tested and the rudder and the elevators are all built. I still need to get an engine and fit an engine to it and fit all the avionics. All the interior needs to be fitted. Um, all the controls all need to be fitted. From what I can see everything is really well packed. Nothing at all seemed to have moved during shipping and everything was undamaged when I opened the crate. This is my first ever experience building an aeroplane. I install elevators for a living, so basically a kit comes in a crate just like this. I open the kit and uh, using the instructions to install the elevator. Um, so hopefully my ability to you know follow instructions, um, do a mechanical and electrical things, translates over and I can get this together without too much hassle and uh, in a relatively good amount of time, but we'll see how we go. First and foremost is everything has to be done correct because it's an aeroplane. If you're looking at building a sling TSI or are building a sling TSI, either slow build or quick build or whatever it be, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Leave me a comment and uh, let me know your experiences. If you've got your own channel or a Facebook page, leave that in the comments so that I can uh, have a look at what you're doing and how you're going. And if you're not building a sling TSI but you're just interested in aviation in general, Give us a subscribe and uh, follow our journey. I'll be posting fairly regular content, um, showing you my progress and seeing how things are going. I'd love to hear from you. We have unpacked the rudder, the elevator, and the wings are now around the back of the house. And I have to find a more permanent home for them. They're probably gonna have a bracket made for them and installed against a wall. So she's all in my garage and I just opened my first crate and I just wanted to show you some of the awesome features uh, and attention to detail that Sling put into their aircraft. Here's the uh, first crate. And um, when you open the crate, there's this awesome uh, layout here. And hi, Mr. DeVries. My name is Taberga and I was the person who packed your canopy and firewall forward kit at Sling. I hope it brings you many years of joy. And uh, on the top is the instruction kit for your firewall forward kit. So I, um, yeah, I've got a few boxes to open, some inventory to, doing, to do, and I'll show you any exciting bits along the way. So just got the lid off of my fuselage kit to have a look inside. And uh, my fuselage kit was packed by a lovely gentleman named Theo. 
So once again, I've got inventorying to do and working out what's on back order and go from there.